I think we can all agree that whether you are a man or a woman, cheating in a relationship is a terrible and cruel act that destroys relationships, families, and places people in the darkest pits of their lives. Nonetheless, it is a fairly common phenomenon, both among men and women. But the reasons for cheating are very much different between the two genders. When men cheat, it is more likely to be out of purely sexual desire and very likely also being intoxicated. Also, most average guys are not used to having options, so if an attractive female suddenly starts giving them attention, some guys become weak and cheat on their partner. And the only reason they had not cheated already was because they didn't have the option. Very pathetic indeed. The key point I'm trying to make here is that when men cheat, it usually has very little to do with their current partner and more to do with their own selfish needs and desires. Don't get me wrong here, guys. I am a big supporter of being polygamous as a man, and I fully believe that if you are able to do it, having multiple partners is the best way of dating, at least if you are a young man with raging testosterone levels. But with that said, if you are in a committed relationship where you have agreed to be exclusive, you need to grow a pair and stay loyal. But when women cheat, the cause is usually very different. If a woman is with her ideal partner, a strong, powerful man who she respects and admires, who leads the way and protects her from all the cruelty in this world, she will not cheat. I repeat, she will not cheat. Of course, there are always exceptions to the rule, but these are just that, exceptions. But men like this only account for about 1-5% to of the population. Now I am not saying that 95% of men will be cheated on, because of course some men are closer to this ideal than others. Let's say you are in the top 10% of men, then you will still be much less likely to be cheated on than the bottom 10%. So the further away you are from this ideal, the more likely you are to get cheated on. Now I will give you 5 traits that are typically displayed by low tier men. And if you possess these traits, you need to change course now, before it destroys you. One being passive aggressive. This is by far the most pathetic and feminine way to deal with a disagreement with another person. This applies to every single person you meet, not just your partner. When you are being passive aggressive, you are displaying your dissatisfaction, but you are too much of a coward to speak it out loud or confront the situation head on. This is weak. If there is a problem or your boundaries have been overstepped, say it like it is. Be extremely upfront about it but remain calm at all times and remember to explain your viewpoints with rationality and eloquence. This way you remain in control of your emotions, thus making you in control of the situation, thus making you powerful. And women don't cheat on powerful men. Two, seeking validation. Picture this. You are a young man. Your testosterone levels are through the roof. You have massive ambitions for your life. You dedicate every single waking moment of your life to improving yourself and chasing your goals. You read books to consume knowledge, becoming smarter every day. You hit the gym like an absolute monster, turning your body into an instrument of war. You work hard on your job, and when you come home, you work hard on your side hustle. You are giving it everything you got, and you are growing, and you are proud. Proud of the path you walk. Therefore, you have high self-confidence and high self-esteem. Now tell me, does this person I just described need a woman to tell him he is good enough? Let that sink in. 3. Giving too much validation. This is almost identical to seeking validation. When you shower a girl with compliments and validation, it is most likely because you are expecting her to validate you back. So turn it down a notch, king. Also, in this digital age, women are constantly bombarded with compliments and validation, which means that it just doesn't mean much to them anymore. But make no mistake, they do indeed still crave validation but mostly so when they can't have it. So, when you keep validation to a minimum, she will be more inclined to work for your validation, and this will keep things exciting for her, and she won't feel the need to cheat on you. Four, you don't make the decisions. Sure, every relationship is dynamic and every relationship is different, but one thing remains true in all relationships. The man needs to make the decisions, and yet so many guys will let their partner walk all over them, letting her decide every little thing. These guys probably think that they are being nice to her and showing her love and compassion, but they got this all twisted. Women don't want to make decisions. They might say they do, 
But women don't always understand their own nature. Of course, some decisions should be made in agreement with your partner. But make sure that most of the time you take charge, make the decisions, and allow her to step back and follow your lead. She will not cheat on the man who leads the way. 5. Being emotional. I have talked about this before, and I bring it up again, because I truly mean it. When you are being emotional in front of your girl, you are ultimately telling her that the world is too harsh of a place, and that you are too fragile and weak to put up with it. Foolish. Imagine a woman's ideal partner. There he stands. In the middle of all the chaos and wickedness in this world, but he remains calm, unaffected, just like a mountain. No matter how hard the storm is raging, he remains, doesn't budge. Nothing can make him crumble. This is the man she desires. Be that man. That's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you learned something and that you can use this information and avoid having a woman overstep your boundaries. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it since it makes it easier for me to reach out to more people. Until next time, friends.